Do you have a big dog who's just way too difficult to move around? What about a little dog who's always barking out of the window? Or a puppy with just way too much energy? If any of these sound like you, or if you just want something new to do with your dog, stay tuned for this next video. Hey, this is Heather and my friend Mr. Cato, and we're with Adipup Dog and Puppy Training. I do not have Toby with me today because Toby knows this trick way too well. Cato doesn't know it nearly as much. So what we're going to do today is show you nose targeting. This has been in some of our other videos, but you kind of have to fast forward to where we actually talk about how to do it because we're applying it to other concepts. So Mr. Cato here is not super well versed, but we're gonna go over what it is and then we're gonna talk about how we can use it the best. So nose targeting <clears throat> involves moving a dog around and having them bop your hand with their nose or bop a stick with their nose or something like that. It's the same way we teach dolphins at SeaWorld to jump out of the water and hit the ball at the top of the arena. It starts super simple, basic kindergarten level. I have treats in my hand and I have some fingers here I want them to bop. I'm going to make this hand smelly. So I have a treat hand and a smelly hand. This is just cheese. If cheese doesn't work for your dog, it may not be smelly enough. Try chicken or some sort of beef or something like that. Kato has a little bit of experience with this. So hopefully the... I have my treat hand and my smelly hand. I'm gonna hide my treat hand and hold my smelly hand out. Hey mister, you wanna pay attention? Hey. Yes! I gave him a mark because he touched my hand and then I gave him a treat. We're gonna do it again. Yes! Good boy. My marker is a verbal marker because sometimes it's too hard for, click for beginners to use clickers with this because we're already using two hands. We have an itch. It must be addressed. Kato. Yes! So he's doing it pretty continuously. If he doesn't pay attention, I'm gonna wiggle. Yes! Wiggle my fingers. If he still didn't pay attention, I would have taken them away and brought them back closer to his face. Yes! Kato loves cheese. And it was the easiest thing I had in my, <laughs> in my fridge. All right, pup. I'm gonna add the cue now since he's doing it regularly. I call it nose for my guys. I need, <laughs> nose, yes, good job. Hey, nose, I'm up here, yes, good boy. Did you see how that was a really deliberate nose bonk? Nose, yes, good job. And let's do one more, nose, yes. Good boy. And he's going to relax into it because right now it's a super duper easy thing for him to do. Once your dog is really, really great at that, you can have him bonk your hand and then you can toss the treat a couple feet away. And once he's good at that, a few more feet and a few more feet and a few more feet. Why this is a useful trick to teach your dog. So for those big dogs that I talked about in the beginning, you can move them around. Once your dog is bopping continuously, you can start moving it. Can you bop my hand over here? Can you bop it over here, over here, over there, over there? That really scary, weird, shiny thing they have to step on at the vet's office, you and I know it as a scale. You can use nose targeting to position them onto that scale. You could use nose targeting to get them into the car. What about the little dogs I talked about that are always barking out of the window? You can use nose targeting to engage them and redirect them away from that window. What about the puppies I talked about who are so full of energy? You can use nose targeting to feed them their dinner. So their nose target, you toss a piece of food that way. They get it, they come back. Nose target, toss a piece of food. Nose target, toss a piece of food. You can also use nose targeting to 
work like a recall. I just had a student come to class yesterday. She was so excited about some of the things her dog had learned that week as they'd been practicing, but she was very, very happy because he went out in the front yard and she used a recall and got him away from the road, but she did her recall with nose targeting. So if ever your emergency recall or any recall doesn't work, you can try nose targeting. It's a really, really useful tool to teach your dogs. They really like it. It works like their own personal vending machine because they press a button, food comes out. So it's just a great thing to teach your dogs and we can also teach a lot of tricks and other behaviors with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. Bye-bye.